<laughs> Welcome back to Mike's and Mustangs, where we feature student athletes, coaches, and staff here at Stevenson University. My name is Jaheim Henderson. And my name is Jaden Harris. I have your athletic updates. Men's ice hockey won last Saturday against King's College, and women's basketball takes on number three, Christopher Newport University, this Saturday at 4 p.m. Go. Be there. Be there. Be square. Happy finals week, everybody. Um, how's so happy. your finals week going? Um, very productive. I feel like I've gotten a lot done. I wrote my 20 page paper yesterday, finished it, condensed it. We're all good there. When, Had a bio final. When did you start that 20 page paper? Like a month ago. Jeez. Yeah, it was 35. Years. So we had to, you know, yeah. How'd you get the paper from 35 down to 20? Uh, we did analyses, which like kind of up the pages and then like replaced the analyses with like results, discussions, conclusions. Respect. Yeah. Respect. How are your finals going? They're going. <laughs> yeah. They're pretty good. I only have two finals this uh, semester, so it's pretty cool. The rest of them are like write ups or like closing portfolios because I'm a finance major. So, mm. yeah. Yeah. I wish. Yeah. Numbers. All right. Well, today we have a special guest with us. We have our 2023 cross country first team all conference selection and member of the track and field team, senior Hayden Schindler. What's going on? Hey, Hayden. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start off with a full in inter interrogation. I'm kidding. All right, Hayden, so how did you get into running? So I started running my freshman year of high school, and I realized I wasn't going to make the soccer team. I started to try out for the cross-country team, and they accepted me and just started running from there. Oh, wow. Wow. So where would you go to high school? Pikesville High School. Pikesville. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> go Baltimore Panthers. County. Baltimore Represent. County. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. So what is the most difficult part about running distance and how do you stay focused? Um, like the long distances are really difficult. I did an eight and a half mile run this morning and it was really difficult out there in the wind and the cold. So definitely like the, the weather can be really difficult. Wow. With the long running. So how do you like stay focused for like your eight and a half miles? Like how do you motivate yourself? I just take it one mile at a time. Like I know I'm going to be out there running for an hour, but I try not to focus on the bigger picture rather than just like mm. step by step. Mm -hmm. And funny. like you stay motivated like every day. Too. Yeah. I see you outside every day. Day and night. Wow. I'm out there running around campus. Wow. That's yeah. phenomenal. So how many miles do you think you run in a week? Around like 60. Yeah. What do you eat? Like what? what is your eating Chicken, like? Chicken, rice, broccoli, steak. That's good. Okay. Protein. You know, Rockland. Rockland's Rockland. finest. <laughs> good man. Shout out Rockland. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. So you're also a member of the track team. I am. So what's the transition like going from cross country to track season? I mean, it's a big difference. I mean, because you go from cross country running outside to indoor track, which is inside. And indoor track, it's a 200 meter track. So the um, distances are much shorter. And basically the curves can be really difficult to run on. So it's a big difference. Are the shorter distances easier for you? Do you feel like they're more competitive? It's definitely more competitive because there's like less time to be able to make moves to win the race. So basically, mm -hmm. because it's less time, you have to be more strategic with every lap counting. Do you feel like you perform better doing longer distance outdoor or shorter indoor? Probably a longer distance outdoor. Okay. Just because there's more time to like make moves with my opponents okay. and really make moves when they get tired. What events do you run? I do the 10K, the 5K, the 3K, and the mile. Sheesh. Yeah. Well, I know uh -huh. 5K is 1.3.1 right. miles. Uh, how long is the 3K? 3K yeah. is just under two miles. Okay. Um, you probably just walk that in your sleep, right? Uh, it's difficult. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Why? Wow, because people are like... Well, it's, it's really fast, even yeah, though yeah. it's like a long mm. distance. Yeah, yeah. You're still running like 440-minute mile pace. Like, it's quick. So is the 3K or, harder than the 10K? I would say so, yeah. Oh, snap. Definitely. Pick of the day. Because like a 10K, mm. you can like find your rhythm. Yeah, and yeah. like the race is really decided in like the final minutes. So like... You can't win the 10K in the first three miles, six mile race. So mm -hmm. like, it's all about yeah. those final miles versus like the 3K, you have to stay attached the entire time and then make a move at the end or try to run away at the beginning. So like what do you that. mean by like make a move? Like get in front of? People? Yeah. So like making a move is like everyone's following the leader, but eventually mm -hmm. like you have to make a move to the front. You know, you it's called a surge. So basically you pick up your pace for a little bit and you move up and you have to hold that pace, not let them pass you. Wow. Cool. Wow. Okay. So do you have any advice for younger athletes? Um, just stay consistent. I mean, like it's really difficult to stay staying consist consistent with like the weather and you know, um mm -hmm. 
just like changing seasons definitely can be difficult, but you know, try and stay cons- consistent as possible. What is your biggest stress reliever when it comes to post run, post end of the day type of deal? Mm. Just hanging out with the boys, with really. The boys. <laughs> <laughs> Going home, hanging out with the boys, you know, playing the game, playing some 2K, some Madden. 2K, Madden. Yeah, okay. definitely. Okay. That's right. We've been having 2K tournaments all semester long. I'm the, I'm the champion on 2K. For real? Yeah. <laughs> Minnesota Timberwolves. Someone can touch me. Okay. Oh. Okay. You heard it here first. I like the confidence. I might have to get a little 2K tournament going on here. <laughs> All right. I'm wrong with that. So uh, I always hear about like people that run long distance. They like mm-hmm. usually hit like a quote unquote runner's high. Yeah. Do you, is that a, okay, one, is that a thing? Mm-hmm, definitely. And two, uh, do you get that and how often? I get it like every day, like after a run, like I'm just like brain dead. I don't know how to describe <laughs> it. It's like a different like feeling, like. You just got done running for like an hour and just like all the adrenaline, dopamine, like it all hits you at once. It's crazy. No way. So yeah. is that like, uh, well, do you stretch when you finish all that running or do I you do. just kind of just I do. I do some quick stretches with hamstrings, quads, calves, glutes, hips. Before and after or just after? Before and after. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're doing this thing the right yeah. way. I need, right. To, I need to start stretching. Yeah. I ran a 5K this summer with my firm that I interned at <laughs> and uh, I almost didn't make it. Uh, it was kind of rough. So... Might have taken some uh, notes from this this it's podcast okay. episode for sure, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> to, now we're gonna get into uh, what do you? What is your funniest story that you have that was um, at a track or cross country meet? Funniest, funniest story. Yeah. So I was running the ten k in uh, at Goucher College early March. And it was me and another kid, but um, we were just the only runners in the race. And it was at the very end of a meet. And um, I'm running, I'm running, and they're taking photos. And at one point in the race, I stopped and took a photo with all my teammates mid-race. And then kept running and finished the race, qualified for conferences. Oh, you have Got it done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Wait, okay. that's tough. Yeah, Wait, so that's... a photo of me flexing. In the middle of the race? Middle, middle of the race, yeah. Golly. Okay. Wow. Whose uh, idea was that? That was your idea? I don't idea? know. It was just like it on just the spot. Happened? Yeah. Okay. At like what point in the race was it? Was it like the last It was mile like halfway or... through the race. Yeah. Golly. Just like stopped running. I'm flicked up with the teammates. I'm kept kind of running. Confidence. Finished the race. Yeah. Like did anybody like pass you at that point? No. It was just me and my teammate. But like I was already so like oh, far okay. ahead that like it didn't really oh. matter. Wow. It didn't matter. Respect. Respect. Wow. Okay. See the cool thing about track though. Yeah. Is that uh, you can run D1, D2, D3. Mm-hmm. But, like, a time is a time. Time is a time. So, like, that's the cool thing about it. Like, how do you feel about that? So, when it came, when you were coming out of high school and you decided to go D3 uh, Mm -hmm. track, how did you feel about that uh, relationship between D1, D2, and D3? I mean, I didn't really look at the different levels. I mean, I knew D1 was much more competitive than D3. But I knew I just wanted to run, just wanted that college atmosphere, that competitiveness. I just wanted to race. For sure. And that's what D3 had to offer. Mm -hmm. I like that. Certainly oh. turn it up out here. I'm not mm-hmm. going to lie. <laughs> so, all right. We're going to go into our would you rather. I have a few questions okay. for you. All right. Would you rather give up air conditioning and heating for the rest of your life or give up the internet for the rest of your life? Um, Give up the internet. Mm. Yeah. I agree. The yeah. internet is like draining anyway. So, well, except for when I'm doing homework. Right? Definitely. Okay. So, except when I'm being an academic weapon. Uh, academic weapon. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Okay. Right here. All right. (laughs) Would you rather know right now everything you're going to know in the future or go back to five years old with everything that you know right now? Mm. The first option. I feel like I can't go back in time. Like, that's just in the past. Like, focus on the future. Focus on now. Like, (laughs) I I like that. Okay. Would you rather have a knife when you need a spoon or a spoon when you need a knife? (laughs) A spoon when I need a knife. Okay, why? Yeah, please break that down. Well, please. I feel like a knife, I need a spoon. A knife when I need a spoon. <clears throat> you know, I really like soup. Um, big fan of Maryland crab soup. Mm-hmm. Cream of crab mm-hmm. soup. Yes. And a knife, you think going to cut it. But like uh, a spoon, I feel like you're going to at least some, some kind of, you know, you can work with it. It's going to be difficult. Spoon. But like, like, I like soup. So like, I'm going to need my spoon. So like, what if you just drink out the bowl? Like, what if you need a knife to, like, cut something? Um, 
See, it's okay. I'm yeah, gonna like on that one, Hayden. Um, I like that <laughs> take. Uh, I feel like you can use a spoon mm-hmm. for a certain knife right. situation, definitely. But you can never use a knife for a spoon situation, definitely. Like you can't scoop anything with a knife. With a knife, well, yeah. It but you already, can cut some things. It should with a spoon. already be in something. Like it should always be in something if you need a spoon. I feel like drinking soup like that is crazy. Like I mean, yeah, because yeah, yeah. uh, soup is hot. Right, uh, down soup. I don't know. It's kind of a sipping. <laughs> Event no, okay. Me personally, definitely. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Would you rather have more time or more money? Um, Mm. more time. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. I did not expect that answer. Good answer, gang. Definitely, I I agree with that one. Wow. Would you rather fight a hundred duck-sized horses (laughs) or one horse-sized duck? One horse sized duck. I feel like I would at least be able to like have a chance and like be more strategic with my moves. I feel like what was the other option? You said the uh, um, duck sized horses. hundred duck sized horses. I feel like they would take me out. There's too many. Yeah. I'll kick them. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think the question really comes down to like, does the horses still have their strength when mm-hmm. they're like duck sizes? Or like do they get the duck strength? You know what I mean? I'd say okay. <laughs> it's it, I think it's that's definitely a, valid, a tough question. That's a valid component because yeah. if they're little strong ducks, you're you're not gonna win. But I feel like it's but little. if it's a duck sized horse, you know what I mean. You only got one target instead of a hundred. Keep all the components of a horse and make it miniature. Ooh, mm. yeah, I'm I'm going with the one. It would be side. tiny though, so like its strength would be like even more. Compacted. No, it would be compacted, no? so it would decrease. Oh, that's a science major for you guys. Sorry, <laughs> I just work with numbers. My apologies. I feel like that was a numbers <laughs> thing. I don't know. Like, we're talking about. I mean, like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're talking about Time ducks, versus mass so about equals horses, velocity. You know? Is that the right equation? <laughs> <laughs> that's the <specific>. thing. <laughs> it's all science, though. No. Okay. You know what? You're right. All right you're thanks. right. Yeah, Appreciate sure, it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's move on. Um, this one is for everybody. Um, let's start off with you, Hayden. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite holiday tradition? Um, so I'm Jewish. Okay. So definitely spending time with the family on Hanukkah and Passover, Rosh Hashanah, just celebrating different Jewish holidays with the fam. Yes, sir. Cool. Love that. Hayden? Um... We do this thing at my house where like everyone comes over and we make cookies and it's like a bunch of cookies and like everyone like decorates and like Jaden typically sits on the couch. I'm not gonna lie. Like I I always start the process, ending it. God, sounds about I right. I eat the cookies. Do you burn the cookies if you? I don't cook them really. The oven does so, mm. and like my mother's watching the oven. You know, the, like the adults <laughs> are in charge. Well, I'm an adult. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm an the adult. adults are in so, charge. Um, <laughs> go ahead, Hume. What's your favorite <laughs> holiday tradition? <laughs> My favorite holiday tradition will have to be, uh, we just do a brunch usually mm-hmm. for Christmas, mm-hmm. and that's always cool. My father cooks uh, a little bit of everything, and I love bacon. By the way, that's my favorite food if anybody's wondering, and I get a lot of bacon Christmas morning. So, nice. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> well, that's a wrap for today. Thank you so much, Hayden, for joining us. It's been a pleasure getting to know Thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And thank you everyone for tuning in.